Thank you, Luke. Welcome everybody to Monday, May 30th. Another beautiful day in paradise. We're glad you can be with us either here at the church or out there in radio and television land. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Part 1 of Psalm 89, let us break at the, at the aspect. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From the age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever. And preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord. And to your faithfulness in the assembly of the Holy One. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones. Great and terrible to all those around the God of man. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? Almighty oh, Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea. And still the surging of its waves. You have crushed Rahab of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, the earth also is yours. You laid the foundations of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand and high is your right. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk the Lord in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength. And by your favor our life is exalted. Truly the Lord is our ruler. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Ephesians. This is the reason that I, Paul, am a prisoner for Christ Jesus, for the sake of you Gentiles. For surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given to me for you. And how the mystery was made known to me by revelation. As I wrote above in a few words, a reading of which will enable you to perceive my understanding of the mystery of Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind, as it was not revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and shares in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace that was given to me by the working of his power. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ and to make everyone see what is the plan of mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things. So, so that through the church and the wisdom of God in its rich variety might know, now be made known to the rulers and authorities in heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal promise that he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. I pray, therefore, that you may not lose heart 
over my sufferings for you. They are your glory. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Today on this Memorial Day, we honor those who have gone before us uh, in the service of their country, those who have given their life and their blood for the service of this country. We thank them wholeheartedly. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. O God, of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the Diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them that song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your servants and your sons and daughters in the life to come. This point is a place for free intercessions. Eternal Father, strong to save. Amen. Today we honor the life of Joan of Arc, a visionary. She died in May 30th of 1431. Holy God, whose power is made perfect in weakness, we honor you for the calling of Joan de Arc, who, though young, rose up in valor to bear your standard for her country and endured with grace and fortitude both victory and defeat. And we pray that we, like jo Joanne, may bear witness to the truth that is in us, to friends and enemies alike, and encouraged by the companionship of your saints, give ourselves bravely to the, strange, to the struggle for justice in our time. Through Christ our Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. On this Memorial Day, Father, we pause to reflect on the sacrifice made by those who paid the ultimate price for our nation. We pray for their sacrifices are, are never forgotten, nor is the pain of their families. We acknowledge that freedom comes at a cost and 
pray that we can pursue peace. We hope that someday we'll celebrate Memorial Day as just a memory of a time before we started living in a peaceful existence you intended for us since the beginning of creation. Let us turn to you, Lord, in our grief and in our remembrance of the fallen. Give us toward a harmonious existence as we honor those who are willing to give up their lives that we may gather here today freely. On this Memorial Day, we pray for the peace of for those who gave all. Lead us toward a world where no one must give their lives in pursuit of freedom. May we be receptive to your guidance and may we never forget the fallen. Amen. Amen. Let our eyes be your eyes, sharing compassion, warmth, and love. Let our hands be your hands, bringing healing with their touch. Let our ears be your ears, listening where there is need. Let our works be your work, words, bringing comfort, joy, and peace. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless the work of our hands. Amen. Amen.